government is going completely rogue. All over the Western world, the police now are trying to charge you administrative bills to respond to crimes. In Canada, outside Toronto, they found a 400-year-old dead Native Aboriginal, a Native American woman. And so they call the police. They're in their garden. Cops show up and then charge them $5,000 to respond because they had to get, you know, a coroner and an archaeologist out there. When you pay taxes, you, they, all these fines and fees, that's the, quote, government service. So that's what they call privatization. I've got another uh, WECT piece here that I'm going to get to later in the hour. Eyewitnesses describe the terror of DWI checkpoint shooting. Now if cops see a glint of a pin in your hand, they shoot you. Because it's all instinctive shooting, like a video game. That's what video game sh Doom was invented for. Is so you don't think, you just shoot people. And so now, just, every day you read about some old man, some old woman, some kid. Kids on a b bicycle, uh, they see a gleam, it's their cell phone. Cop shoots them, it's like, well, he felt threatened. Well, I mean, potentially any citizen could hurt a cop, so why not execute everyone who's not a cop? Shouldn't give them ideas. But this is described by the police just going crazy, just shooting into oncoming traffic. Kind of like New York where they shot nine people and then blamed it on some guy they killed. Or you got a telephone repair guy and his van breaks down and so the police pull up in New York and shoot him. I mean, it's really creepy. And they tell them, do it. If you feel threatened anyway, kill everybody. That's probably the only bad message I could say was in the Man of Steel when I went and saw it last night was this, you know, just SWAT teams everywhere. Uh, Lois Lane's done nothing, but the FBI jumps out in camouflage fatigues and shoves M16s in her face. Just the idea of we're going to aim guns at you. We're going to, we're going to do, you know, for our safety, for your safety, just prisoner training. Jared and Rosa Sheridan found themselves right in the middle of a shootout and what should have been a routine DWI checkpoint. They use these as really illegal checkpoints to violate the Fourth Amendment. Days after the dramatic shootout in Brunswick County, they are still shaken by what they saw. Every cop turned around, started unloading like super trigger happy, as if it was tr their training was coming into full effect and they were being able to utilize it, said Sheridan. Everybody was just blasting this car to pieces. It was absolutely terrifying. They were stunned with what was happening as officers reportedly shot dozens of rounds in the direction of just oncoming traffic. It's kind of like cars that didn't, didn't even match the description with women driving it. With the Dorner thing, they would just shoot up, what was it, three vehicles. Just that doesn't even match the description. It's women. Let's just shoot them up. White women. Oh, it's a white guy. I mean, it'd be bad enough if they shot up some black guy in, in, in a vehicle that looked the same. But no, let's just shoot everybody up because we're crazy. Cheerden says he believes the officers acted with no regard for public safety. It was beyond reckless. I don't agree. I think they should shut up checkpoints just randomly and kill everybody. It's for the, for the children. I couldn't believe it. These are professional people, professional officers, and they're training. They're highly trained, and they're not supposed to do stuff like that. Officials, not servants, with the sheriff's officer keeping a tight lip about the incident. No one will tell us who shot the two suspects or what even led up to the shooting. I couldn't understand why they wouldn't come out with an explanation as to what happened after seeing what they saw. It looked like every officer did not follow protocol in any shape or form. After surviving such a scary moment, both Jared and Rose are thankful to spend Father's Day with their girl. And it goes on, and, and it's just like, oh, they're on administrative duty, paid vacation. And, and we've had like, what, four cases of this the last few months? I guess in the last six months or so in Austin, just where they pull somebody over. And the guy has a belt buckle or a pin or a pin in their hand, and the cop shoots him. I almost got killed by an Austin cop when I was still in high school, a senior in high school, driving home. My mother had asked for uh, frozen yogurt. I drove up to get her some. I'm driving back. Cop pulls me over, said I was speeding, sees my weight belt in the front seat, pulls a gun out, and jams it in my head, and almost blew my head off over the weight belt. Pro Pure is introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. This is the Pro One by Pro Pure. You wanted it, you got it. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride 
and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It cuts out the acid derivative of fluoride. It is the only one that does it. And out of the gates, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. This is a revolution against the tyrants. They love putting the toxic acid base of fluoride into your water. They love the fact that it's an adjuvant supercharging the trace Prozac in the water and the hormones and the other chemicals. By cutting out fluoride, you cut out the turbocharger in all the poison being artificially introduced into your body. This is what I use. It's a win-win. You get a high-quality product at the lowest price. You support the InfoWar. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. This is the weekly standard from a transcript of the uh, Pentagon uh, slash White House press conference. And it says... Make that non-lethal Freudian slip a corrected transcript just sent out by the White House of Deputy National Security Advisor Ben Rhodes. He's the one that has the fiction writing degree who seems to be running the White House now. Uh, comments to reporters yesterday includes this. Mr. Rhodes, it's an uh, ironic question because it frequently comes at the other way that the Europeans are doing more than we, talking about Syria. In fact, I think on Syria, as a general matter, we have been a leading provider of humanitarian assistance on lethal, non-lethal assistance, and we are taking the steps to provide support for the military opposition. So he admits it's military opposition. For two years, they've been giving him missiles and heavy weapons. They're now just admitting that. And we've got reports today of surface-to-air missiles, uh, truck uh, conveyed howitzers, uh, rocket launchers. And he first called it lethal, non-lethal assistance. This is the guy that said, oh, no, this is a peaceful mission in Libya. These are kinetic military actions blowing up whole apartment buildings to back up al-Qaeda forces. This is the guy that said, calls it kinetic military action. Now it's lethal, non-lethal, but that was too Orwellian, so they sent another transcript out taking the word lethal out, even though that's what he said. So it's lethal, non-lethal. So, you know, I guess you can go kill whoever you want, and when the cops show up and they're dead, say you used a hatchet or a baseball bat or whatever, or maybe a, d a dagger, and say it's lethal, non-lethal. It's a kinetic action. Do I get a peace prize here? Um, <clears throat> they call drugging, trying to drug half the school children in America. That's their goal, the New Freedom Initiative. They call the Patriot Act, the Patriot Act. Uh, they call the uh, FISA court, the foreign intelligence. It spies domestically. It's all inverted. <clears throat> and here's the good news. Kevin Booth called me up, you know, filmmaker, old friend of mine used to live in Austin and he said you know Bloomberg promised me it was a friendly piece when they asked me all those personal questions they lied to me and I said of course they did Kevin he called me last night I said of course they lied to you Kevin I, I told them I knew it was a hit piece and they lied and we're all fake I said that's why they have low approval ratings that's why their readership is down across the board mainstream media I, I said they're destroying themselves they they still carry out the same old tricks but it's not in a vacuum so here's a few more of those, and we're going to our guest. First Europeans and NATO heavy arms for Syria, rebels, Russian reprisals expected. Uh, and it goes on to talk about how the U.S. has landed and is moving in out of Turkey into the country. This is the Israeli news. Uh, just all these different weapon systems uh, that they're giving them. 120 millimeter cannons mounted on Jeeps, um, anti-air and surface-to-air missiles, anti-tank missiles, recoilless 120, million, um, 120 millimeter cannons, and hey, 
I think I think the cannons deserve a peace prize. <laughs> But again, the UN said four years ago at the Copenhagen summit, calling for world government tax on every one except the globalist, a $100 trillion tax, by the way. Guys, show them $100 trillion. They called for it a few months later at Davos. $100 trillion in credit needed. And that means the private banks. And that means taxing you is where the money comes from. They said the sun does not affect weather. They had a vote at the UN. Politicians and scientists voted. There it is. World needs 100 trillion more credits, says World Economic Forum. Well, that was first in the Copenhagen document months before that. And they had a vote saying the sun doesn't affect the Earth. It doesn't affect Mars either, even though they admit that's what makes its ice caps get bigger or smaller. I will assure you, folks, we'd be at absolute zero if it was not for the sun. And I know they'll say that's a conspiracy theory. They say mothers don't need to breastfeed their children, even though it makes the brain much smaller. It's not a conspiracy theory that your baby needs what, what you have that's designed for them. It's not a conspiracy to say that the sun is what heats the earth and is the main driver of climate change. Even if Al Gore says it isn't, it is. And I know that's extreme. <laughs> I understand I'm wild here. You know, I told you the NSA spying on you. Uh, continuing, we're going to get uh, more into uh, video. Syrian teen rebels hail 9-11 attacks and say they're going to blow America up again. And now even USA Today admits our government is funding Al-Qaeda. Uh, that is the main force uh, launching military uh, operations uh, in Syria. So two years after we told you, that's now admitted. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.